In our previous video, we discussed how lead acid batteries work. In this video, we will be discussing the various types of these batteries. There are two types of lead acid batteries based on electrolyte and construction. They are the flooded lead acid battery and the sealed lead acid battery. The SLA batteries are also called as the valve regulated batteries. The working of these batteries is very similar, but their construction varies. In the FLA batteries, the electrodes are dipped in dilute sulfuric acid. Vents are provided on the battery ceiling to accommodate the rise in pressure due to gas buildup. These batteries also need periodic maintenance as the sulfate from the sulfuric acid gets deposited on the electrodes. This reduces the effective capacity of the battery. The water in the battery also evaporates over time and needs to be topped up at regular intervals. People usually forget this, so FLE batteries are prone to get damaged and fail. These batteries must be kept in a vertical position as the acid can seep out of the vents and can cause corrosive action. Due to these factors, a new type of battery called the sealed lead acid battery was introduced. These batteries have a sealed casing to prevent the escape of oxygen and water vapor. The primary benefit of this design is that it helps to charge the battery without the continuous need of water. This is achieved by a process called oxygen recombination. In normal flooded batteries, during the recharging and discharging process, the water in the battery decomposes to form gaseous oxygen and hydrogen due to electrolysis. The hydrogen forms ions and remains dissolved in the electrolyte and is not released as a gas. But the oxygen gas bubbles up and escapes through the vent plug. In the VRLA batteries, the oxygen gas, instead of being wasted into the atmosphere, is redirected to the negative electrode where it undergoes the following reactions. This transfer of oxygen occurs due to the construction of the battery cell. In these batteries, the electrolyte is held in an absorbent glass mat or gel. This prevents the escape of oxygen into the atmosphere. The other advantage of the fixed electrolyte is that the battery can be placed in any orientation, thus increasing the range of applications. Newer types of SLA batteries use different materials to compensate for the drop in conductivity due to the change in electrolyte. One good example is the usage of lead calcium alloy for the positive electrode and lead tin calcium for the negative electrode. These batteries have a life cycle of around 350 cycles. Well, that's it guys. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Do check out our website. We have a huge collection of industry targeted courses suited for both working professionals and students in engineering colleges. We also continuously update our course material so that you don't lag behind industry standards. Thank you so much. Bye.